This is your conduction system of the heart. No need for me to go into this in greater detail, apart from the fact that there's ASA node. Pay attention to that. Right atrium. What wave? P. I want you to go next to the AV node. With the AV node, the time that it takes to go from SA to AV, what, is, what interval is this? P or interval. What time have you memorized? 0 0.12 to 0 0.2 seconds. Good. From this, I want you to take a look at the bundle branches. You tell me, all I'm doing is pointing out things that we have discussed already. Now you can actually visualize it. Tell me about the left bundle branch and right bundle branch. Which one depolarizes first physiologically? Left bundle branch. How can you confirm that? Second heart sound. What is it? A2, P2. What does that mean? Aortic followed by pulmonic. Are you putting things together? Good. I want you to give your patient a disease, such as left bundle branch block. If it's a left bundle branch block, then you tell me what kind of split of S2. Good. Paradoxical split. What if it was a right bundle branch block? Is it a fixed split or widened split? Widened split. If you don't know the difference, that's okay. It's a lot of information. Go back and review the difference between a fixed split, most common diagnosis there, atrial septal defect. This is a right, this is a widened split with the right bundle branch block. If you're good with those conduction systems, we're good. The only thing that I wish to point out to you, you see where it says um, <clears throat> the AV node there. That AV node and on that wall, if you're passing an impulse anywhere apart from that AV node, then this would be known as what? An accessory pathway. Welcome to WPW. Okay. And we'll walk into all of these later as well. So every single slide, every single piece of information that you're going to work with me here, you give it a clinical tag. If you don't, maybe perhaps you let it go for another time.